Hi everyone, this is a simple instruction to play SDG pyramid game. Let's check it out! What is the purpose of the SDG pyramid game? The purpose is very simple. It is to complete the SDG pyramid by using the cards in the pouch. How to win the game? The first player to complete the SDG pyramid will be the winner. The card at the top of the pyramid game, SDG logo, must be the last card placed when all the remaining 17 gold cards are completed in the pyramid form. And you have to say out loud, SDG pyramid, when the SDG logo card is placed. Congrats, you are the winner! Alright, now let us know what is in the pouch pack. In each pouch pack, you will find 17 SDG cards and one SDG logo card that will be the last card placed to win the game. Next, we have action cards. We have disruptor card, challenge card, people link, ecological link, spiritual link, and SDG links card. And of course, the last we have instruction guide. So here it is. Make sure you have everything in your pouch. Okay, how to play SDG Pyramid game? So now let's say you have three players in the game. Step 1. Each player must arrange the SDG Pyramid cards on the table as shown in the picture. Step 2. All the remaining cards, the action cards from all players, need to be shuffled and placed in the center face down. Step 3. Each player should withdraw 3 SDG cards and SDG logo card from the other player's pyramid who sits on your right. Step 4. After everyone takes 4 cards from the other player's pyramid, put all those cards into the draw pile in the center. And don't forget to shuffle again. Step 5. Take 3 cards from the deck. So now everyone got 3 cards with them. Okay, got it. Now how these 3 cards work? After deciding the turn to play, you can start playing your card. You can only do one action in each turn. To make it easier, I'm going to show you the 3 cards that I took. But when you play, make sure no one sees your cards, okay? If you are lucky and you get your missing card in one of the three cards that you took from the deck, you can right away put it down to complete your pyramid. If you get Disruptor card, when you get your turn, you share an authentic experience or story about one disruption in one of the SDGs. For example, I choose SDG 14, Life Below Water, and then I'm gonna share about how plastic can endanger the life below water. If the other players convinced and agree, then you can disrupt any one of the player's pyramid by taking one card from their pyramid and put it back into the draw pile together with the disruptor card. If you have challenge card and you want to use it, on your turn, you need to tell a story on one challenge in one of the SDGs and also a solution for it. For example, I choose SDG 5, Gender Equality, then I share one challenge in my country and a solution that I took to address it. If the other players convince and agree, then you can take a card from any of the other player's hand, then use this card to fill your missing card in your pyramid or keep the card. And put back the challenge card into the draw pile. If you get people link card, you have to tell a story on one of the SDGs 1 to 10. And after that, you can use the link card to complete the missing card on SDG 1 to 10. The same happen if you get the ecological link card, but it's for SDG 11 to 15. And for spiritual link card, it can be used to replace SDG 16 or 17. 
If you get this SDGs link card, you can use it to replace any of SDGs card after you tell a story about it. What if you get this card? Keep it and place it on the top of the pyramid when all the SDG goals completed. You win! The last, on your turn, you can always pick two cards from the draw pile, and this will consider as one action. But each player cannot have more than three cards in their hand. Any excess card are to be put into the draw pile. And that's it! Have fun playing you guys! Enjoy!